All right, so now we're ready to talk about Lagrange interpolating polynomials. Now, what we just talked about were these Newton divided difference polynomials. And um, because we're doing just interpolating polynomials, you have to realize that all of these things that we come up with are going to be analytically identical because there is only one straight line that goes between two points. It's unique. There is only one uh, parabola that goes between three points. It's unique. Uh, so we're not, de we're not dealing with this overdetermined problem that we were dealing with in regression. It's, it's unique. But the whole reason we have different formulations is because of New, the numerical properties. If you learn nothing else from unit uh, part one, you should have learned at least that it makes a difference what mathematical operations you do and in what order. So it, it matters. And, and so the whole purpose of the Lagrange interpolating polynomials is to avoid having to compute these divided differences. Now, I just put up the equations for the Lagrange interpolating polynomials, and these aren't going to make a lot of sense until we go through them. So uh, let's just go ahead and start out with an example here uh, and, and write it out. So this is just the nth uh, fn of x. So this is the nth, um, the nth order polynomial. And, and so if we're, if we're doing two points, it'll just be the second order. If we're doing three points, it'll, it'll be the third order and, and, and so forth. So, um, well, three points would be the second order. It'd be a quadratic. Okay, anyway, so let's just write this out. So let's, let's write out f1 of x. Okay, f1 of x is equal to, all right, so then we have the sum from i equals 0 to the n, 0 to n. So at, at this point, we're going to say, well, i equals 0, right? We're doing f1, but i equals 0. We're going to start at 0, and we're going to do li of x. Well, what's l0 of x? So l0 of x, um, let me just write this out, l0 of x times f of x naught, right? Uh, plus L1 of x, F of x1, right? That's, that's what we're going to have. And then L0 of x. Well, what's L0 of x going to be? Well, L0 of x, L0 of x is going to be j equals 0. So I, I starts out at 0, and then uh, j starts out at 0, and, but it says j is not equal to i. So we have to skip that one. All right, so we're not going to include that one in the multiplication. So now we can go ahead and increment our j up to 1. So j equals 1, and j is not equal to i. We can check that because i is equal to uh, 0, and our j is equal to 1 now. That's good. And then we're going to go x minus xj. So that will be x minus x1 divided by xi, and, and i then is, is 0, uh, x zero x naught minus x one. Okay. And then that's just going to be multiplied by f of x naught. Right? And then we have plus this L one of x. What's L one of x? Well L one of x is the sum from j equals zero. Uh, j and i equal to i, so that's good. So we're just going to start at uh, start i equals then one and j equals zero. So x minus x uh, x minus x naught divided by x, uh, let's see, xi, so that's going to be x1 minus xj, and, and j is 0, uh, x0, and that will be multiplied by f of x1. Okay, so there's our first order uh, Lagrange interpolating, in, uh, interpolating polynomial, and we can uh, just start to get a little bit of intuition behind how this works by looking what happens when we when we put in one extreme so let's say let's say we let x equal x1 well if x equals x1 then I would put x1 in here so it would be x1 minus x1 well that would go to 0 and then we have x1 right x1 minus x1 is 0 so that goes to 0 so this whole first term goes to 0 and then it, it'd be x1 minus x0 divided by x1 minus x0. So that whole term would become 1. And then so it would just be 0 plus 0 times f of x0 plus 1 times f of x1. Perfect. OK, so that's really, really, really nice. Now let's say, well, 
let's say it were um, maybe halfway in between. Well, halfway in between, it would be x minus x1. So the x would be halfway in between there and x1. So it would be uh, halfway there, and then we have x0 minus x1. Uh, and so that would be the whole distance, and so we'd have uh, half the distance divided by the whole distance. Um, so then we would have a, a total of uh, a total of half, so 0.5 divided by one, so that'd be 0 0.5. So this this coefficient would be then 0 0.5. If this is halfway, this is also going to become 0 0.5, and you can see we're got a 50-50 mix of f of x naught and f of x one. And as it turns out, uh, as you slide between zero, uh, be, be, between x naught and x one, you get more of x not f of x naught or more of f of x one. And so this is the sort of the the intuition behind the Lagrange interpolating polynomial.